Tico here. Hope everyone's well and safe as normal. And welcome to this month's Q&A video. Where I will do my very best to answer all of your questions to the best of my abilities. Without further delay, let us begin. To start us off with three questions is from his right account, he says. Brighton train spotter one two three and their first question is what was your scariest moment while train spotting unfortunately I too have experienced something similar to what Simon trains and Jordan's transport adventures experienced at Car Luke or back in Scotland this year but my experience of it happened a few years ago and yeah that's as far as i'm going on that one but uh what else is there being on a bus in plymouth and uh nearly getting lost in uh primark in manchester so thanks to gluff trains for helping me around primark <laughs> so i would have been lost otherwise Second question, what former London Underground stock do you miss the most? I've only been on the Underground twice, so I don't really know much about the stock and stuff. But um, I'll, I miss the A stock, the D stock as well, um, and the, uh, yeah. But it's good that they, uh, you know, they've brought some of them back, the D stock, for Viva Rail, uh, with Transport for Wales, London North Western Railway, and now the Island Line, South Western Railway. So yeah, as well as, you know, the 1938 stock with the, um, before, the, the 483s on the Island Line as well. But yeah the D stock mostly. <laughs> Third and final question from Brighton Train Spotter 123. What was your funniest moment of train spotting? There's loads Brighton. I've been train spotting now for 14 years and I've encountered quite a lot of funny moments in that time. But um, I think uh, my meet up with James Grosser G loves trains, all three of them, and uh, with Simon as well. The two meetups I've had with Simon as well, yeah, Simon as well. Uh, but yeah, loads. Uh, Primark, buses, uh, recently avenging my beloved. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> loads. Next up with three questions is from CPR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The first question is, what is your favourite locomotive? There's two. There's the 68 and the 68. As well as the HSTs. <laughs> Second question from CPR. If you were dared to... Would you take the train to Hanfair PG? It ultimately depends on the conditions of the day, of course. And if I get something out of it. Apart from chaos. <laughs> but yeah. Third and final question from CPR. Have you had any unusual experiences on your train travels? Yes, I went to Birmingham on the train once from Ashchurch a few years ago. We had a very unusual passenger. A pigeon. A pigeon on a turbo star. It got on at Ashchurch and then it got off at New Street like nothing happened. The ticket man couldn't find him. He was under the seat. And then he started purring everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah oh that was great fun that was I should have took some photos but never mind next up with just the two questions 
is from Jacob's Rail Adventures. And their first question is, have you walked any disused railways? Yes, I have in Ashchurch. And uh, yeah, Ashchurch. <laughs> Second and final question from Jacob. Would you like to walk some disused railways? Yes. I wouldn't do it on my own though, because that's what I learned from Tico Explores when I explored Ashchurch. But, um, but yeah, hopefully if I am to do something like that in the future, disused railway, a walk, then I would do it with people, not on my own, because it's fun with people. Also, I'm more of a train spotter than that kind of enthusiast. <laughs> Next up with three questions is from James Glossop. The first question is, what was it like to meet up with James on October the 8th? It was absolutely fun. We had a great time causing chaos, doing train spotting, spotting them sprinters, doing Mackey's rants on the trams. Oh, it was good fun because the plan was originally to meet up in August, however, because of work, we had, we had to delay it till October. But I'm glad we have finally had a proper collaboration with you, James. Second question from James. What did you think of the tram train experience, and do you think other places would benefit from this service elsewhere? Yes. I like the tram trains, they're unique. It's one word for them. But uh, Cardiff are having them as well, the 398s on the valley lines. Third and final question from James Glosser. Have you catched any OHTT movements yet this month? I've caught a few, but as you will find out in my trip at Cardiff, you'll find that I found quite a few RHTTs around Cardiff, Newport and Seven Tunnel Junction. Oh yeah. As well as the one in Sheffield, well, the one that we saw. <laughs> Next up with three questions is from Josh's Railway Adventures. The first question is, will you be trying out the new Lumo 803s? At some point, Tico will get on our 803 Lumo and cause Lumo on the Lumos. <laughs> I wonder if there's any trolley services on the, on the 803. Somebody say trolley! Quiet, yeah, I'm not on about now, I'm on about the Lumos. <sighs> Second question from Josh. What are your plans for 2022, if you have any? I have quite a few, actually. Too much, <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully, we will see um, at least four to six, or maybe, maybe even eight Tico Ventures across various parts of the country as well as some other travel vlogs and train spotting videos one thing is definite however is the standard monthly q a video with yours truly <laughs> ah yeah third and final question from josh's railway adventures will you be seeing 150001 again before the end of this year. Of course I will, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I must. I did say in the previous one, I think, that um, I'd like to see my beloved before Christmas and the New Year. So yeah. Next up with two questions. Paper is from Michael Sebastian Todd. The first question is, have you been on a class 331 or a class 195? If you have, what do you think of them 
If not, would you ride one? I've ridden quite a few and I love them and they are speedy. I have definitely train spotted both a class 195 and a 331. They do look pretty nice to be fair. I have said it in a few other videos as well. I have been inside a 331 just to have a look around because I've not actually seen the interior of one of these Civities before. Until then, of course. <laughs> but um, I've yet to travel on, either, on both of these trains still. But um, they are pretty quick, actually. I've seen train spotting videos. But uh, yeah, good hot one as well. <laughs> Second and final question from Michael Sebastian Todd. Do you have a favourite northern only run station? It's difficult because I've not actually been to a station that's just northern. Oh wait, hang on. Yes, I have. <laughs> I don't know the northwest as well as most people. Blackburn. Todmorden. Clitheroe. There you have it. Because Manchester Victoria is not just northern as Transpennine Express as well, so. <laughs> Next up with three questions is from Ruben Ashwell. And the first question is What is the scariest train station that you've been to? I'll be honest with you, I've not really been intimidated by stations before. But, um, nah. Too busy train spotting. <laughs> Don't really have um, a station that has scared me. Second question from Ruben. If you had a chance to ride the London Underground, hopefully, have you had any scary experiences on it? Um, no. Although I think the amount of people, that kind of terrified me a bit. Because <laughs> uh, London is a completely different world, isn't it, really, from where I live. In the middle of nowhere with a, a station so barren. You don't, you, you hardly get a station, an Ashtute station full of passengers. Only if the Flying Scotsman passes through, and that's it. So, I think uh, that can be quite terrifying on the underground, seeing loads and loads of people. Third and final question from Ruben Ashwell. Have you spotted the Knicker Monster yet? No. <laughs> Next up with three questions is from Simon the Railway Enthusiast 83. Their first question is, what is the scariest route that you have ever travelled on? The snow hell lines, especially when there has been a football match, a rugby match, or a Saturday night. <laughs> Do not, by any stretch of the imagination, travel during those times. <laughs> because it's just, it, it literally is a nightmare. Second question from Simon83 What is the scariest train station that you have travelled to? Burnley Arms! Now I say this because during the day it is fair enough At night though, late evening Don't do it Like I did <laughs> All those years ago But um Yeah That was quite scary to be in the middle of nowhere hearing loads of different types of noises but it all passed when i heard that class 153 pulling in <laughs> so yeah good third and final question from simon the railway enthusiast 83 what is the scariest crack that you have traveled into and come out the other end <laughs> I don't really find tunnels that scary. I just laugh. 
and just admire that. If I want a 150, I just, I just sit back and relax. Because they are quite fun. They're like portals, really, so that's, that's why I enjoy them so much. But yeah, I don't really have one. The last set of questions comes from Simon Trains with three questions. Or as some people like to call him Simon Trains. Or as we call him Cyber Trades. The first question is Did you see the Queen when at Cardiff Central? No, I did not. As I was getting my way over to platform 2 to get a better shot, hope well, of the, the Queen's Messenger leaving Cardiff. But uh, the second I got onto platform 2, by coincidence, the train departed. <laughs> so I couldn't get a shot. Uh, at least I saw the damn train anyway, so. Second question from Cyber. Where else would you like to go in Wales? Bangor, Bangor, that other station, Bangor, that station there, Bangor, uh, Bangor this, Bangor that, Flandudno, Flandudno Junction, Aberystwyth, Barmouth, yeah, um, the valley lines around Cardiff. The Welsh Marshes Line, that ridiculously long station name on the island of Anglesey, Fanfare PG, as well as Bangor, Bangor, and Bangor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the third and final question from Cyber Trades. <clears throat> How did it feel licking 175109? And good luck finding 152160. You will never find her. <laughs> oh, I'll find her. <laughs> um, so finally, I get to have a chance of avenging, well, partially avenging my beloved by licking 175109. The beloved favourite of a certain northern western YouTuber, Jay Loves Trains. But uh, it felt, I mean, obviously, you know, 150s and stuff you lick all the time, but um, they, they taste very unusual, 175s. They're quite huge. But um, yeah, I'm happy that I managed to get some kind of like, uh, avengement on my beloved. It's just 150 to 16 I have to look for now, which is either in Exeter, between Exmouth, Exeter, Paynton, or Plym Plymouth to Penzance, or on the Cornish branch line somewhere. But apparently she's at Bristol having a C4 exam. So yeah. I know, Simon! <laughs> Uh, yeah. I will find 152.16 and I will avenge my beloved. Indeed. <laughs> and there you have it, my October Q&A video. Thank you to everyone for sending me over your questions. I really enjoy answering them and there are some pretty good questions here to be honest. Indeed. Goose Almighty. Um, and there's some good Halloween questions as well. So for me, and this random area that I'm in, thank you for watching, stay safe, and happy Halloween. Oh, also, my Halloween special will be out today, later, at 6pm, uh, so stay tuned for that, even though I filmed this last Sunday. <laughs> See ya!